Hello everyone, it's 24th July 2018 and uh, the Lord provoked me to share this on YouTube with you guys as it's important for the bride to know this before rapture, okay? So I'll just read what he said today from my notes. He said that I love you, my house, and I have taken you as my sons and daughters. A great shaking is coming, not to destroy you, but to wake you from slumber. My words need to be heard with a sharp ear. Many of my people are sleeping, knowing not that enemy is after them, and he plans to kill and destroy. Let your hearts be humbled and vigilant to the core. The only way is to seek me and to stay in my presence. I am your ark. It's time to go home. But you need to be watchful because your adversary accuses you for your slumber. Many sleepers will wake up with the shaking that is coming and know that I am serious about this. The devil is serious about devouring you. You have an adversary. Why do you forget this? Surrender and give in to my presence, and I will rescue you. Tell them that I love them, but if they do not give heed with my love, the judgment might catch them unprepared. My judgment, my wrath is not for my people. But there is an adversary that is constantly accusing them for their slumber. How can I rescue the bride if she keeps asleep while the groom comes? Shall I come and find her asleep? Am I not clear enough? Let not your hearts be hardened. Tell them, let the bride arise clothed with readiness, constantly worshipping and staying in the secret place. It's a test, a test of faith to rise, to declare to the enemy that the bride of the Lamb awaketh. Okay, now so guys, he needs our cooperation. We need to cooperate with him to be raptured away, right? So get your hopes up high, cling to him, stay close to Jesus, and do not let yourself distracted by worldly stuff. You know, because right now, the enemy is using the distractions to distract God's people away uh, for giving him, for, from giving time to Jesus. Because he knows if we stay in the presence of Jesus, we will be safe. But since he hates Jesus, he hates us. So you know how to go how it works uh, okay uh, then uh, I have been having few visions and dreams I'll share one with you uh, now in this dream there's a huge field where I am standing now me standing in the field I represent the bride okay and there's a this devil standing in the form of a scary man and in the dream I know that this is the devil himself the big devil himself in the dream you know how you just know Okay, and there are angels with no feathers in the dream, and they are wearing white uh, white clothes, but they are dirty white clothes, and they are all scarred. It's like they just have gotten back from a battle or a fight, and there are scars on their bodies which are bleeding, right? And I am walking from the midst of them, and they're everywhere, you know, they're everywhere, and they're giving me these judgy looks. But since while I'm walking through the field, um, I'm praying in tongues so they cannot hurt me. So uh, the Holy Spirit provoked me to stay in fast. And then the Lord opened my eyes to see that the devil wants to hurt the bride. Uh, study Revelation 12. He also gave me Revelation 12. That how it works here, how it sets here. Okay, and that the bride needs to be, stay and dwell in the presence of Jesus. Okay, and to keep our focus, our eyes set on the Lord because only He can protect us. Right, and remember, just remember that you all know and you, you might already know the devil is accuser. He always tries to find a legal ground to use against us. Right, so we right now it's very important for us not to provide him a legal ground hence it's written in the word in luke 21 36 kjv version watch ye therefore 
and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So that's just it. If there is any other message, I'll for sure post. This is the first message. I hope it's, um, it, it tells you how to go about further. God bless you. Hello, everyone. It's 20